All right, fellas, welcome back. It's your boy Hardcorn with the Sonic Adventure. This time we're in Lost World. We're getting the final stretch of the game. We've got this level and I think one more. But oh boy, these two are a fucking doozy, I'll say that much. Lost World is interesting. It's got, it's, when you play the DX version, it's got a lot of stuff that falls through the cracks. Like, not only just the lighting, but other things that happen as well. Like water effects and how things are supposed to work. Oh my god. My rings just instantly evaporated because they fell out of the world. Yeah, this is a good start. This is a great start, actually. Show me that checkpoint, girl. Let's do this. Oh, Lord. Oh, those chameleon enemies. You can't actually see them in, uh, in DX. Nor You can barely attack them, nor can you actually see them. Because they take so long to uncloak, it's not even worthwhile to hit them. You can just skip them. Because I think they changed their timing, or... Their timing got changed from version to version. But here we are in the snake room. The infamous snake room. This puzzle's not fun. In fact, it's, it's very, very annoying. There's the first switch. It's relatively harmless, but uh, man, I wish I could... I genuinely wish for something else. I forgot to show it earlier, but uh, if you go back downstairs and leave the uh, portal or something, the, the the door to this room, it um it doesn't change the water level, so it resets your breathing. It doesn't change the water level, but it resets your breathing. That's A plus quality content you can expect from the people who ported this game. It's in the DX version, at least. There's the exit, but I don't need it just yet. Uh-oh, I messed up. Get it? There we go. No, 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 no. Fucking shit, really? God fucking damn it. God, I know if I wasn't paying attention even the slightest bit after I died there, I would have gotten hit by the chameleon and died two times in a row. And now I can't I can't see where I'm going. It's a good game. Uh, good start to the episode. Got all that good shit going on. Got a nice failure. It's like, you're doing that shit on purpose. Do you want to fucking try this? This is not, this is like not as easy as it looks sometimes. Oh, oh sweet Jesus. I went for it and I did it. They don't want you to do that, but I did it anyways. You know, I almost bet they want you to do that. It fit, it's so close to you that you can just do it. Intended skips from the developer themselves? You son of a bitch. Get me the hell out of here. Oh no, we've gone back to the time. We've gotten back to the past. And I'm playing a shitty game that sucks ass. 
Uh oh, spooky. The mirror room. This room is special. Because of the lighting changes to the DX version, the, everything is like full bright, so you don't even need these. You don't even need to do the mirrors. And they really want you to do them because it makes it actually dark and atmospheric. Okay, I don't know where that goes. These platforms are so small, I don't want to get any sort of speed get built up. Ready? Go. It's also the thing with Magnet Shield, is that it'll mess up light dash paths. Now we get to one of my other least favorite parts of this. Well, after this part, this, is, this part's fun. Okay, okay. I see, I see how you, I see how you play it. Okay. Yeah, that, that was fucking funny. That was hilarious, even. That was hilarious. Oh my god. Wow, it still fucking hit me. I was going that fast, it actually caught up to me. Good stuff, game, real good stuff. Now we get to the sliding tile puzzles. And this is interesting to say the least. Granted, you will know when you have the answer. Because they'll do that. God, I hate that. That and if when you die, that enemy comes right back there and it's it's you could just walk directly into it as soon as it sp as soon as you spawn back in. Thankfully, there's a checkpoint right there, so if you fall off this, you don't have to do it again. I have enough lives where if it happens, I'll just restart. Get on the button, Sonic. Alright, perfect. And with that, it's over. If you heard right there, there was uh, yeah, supposed to be a bad. musical change in there, but uh, I was still moving so quickly I couldn't hear it. That's a little bit uh, on your part, Sega. Could have made it a little bit longer. A little bit longer to walk through. Wow, what's this? A mural. Oh my god, it's Chaos to the Destroyer! And here we go back to the past. I'm gonna say it again, we're gonna keep playing this shitty game that sucks ass. What's this place? Where am I? This is really weird!
people. I must stop this now. What are you gonna do, to call? You're gonna merge with the seven chaos and the master emerald? Gonna find my emeralds. You can call me Sonic. I like to flex my chuckles. What was that all about? I don't think I'm dreaming here. Hmm? Eggman! What's he doing here? Well, never mind. This time I'll get him good! What's really interesting about the, uh, the storytelling in this game, it's got some non-linear elements to it, which is actually really, really cool. That part where we're, uh, we're at the shrine for the Master Emerald, that's told from six or six different positions when each of the characters goes back there at some point. So you get to learn the legend of how Chaos is reborn and uh, how, I guess he was sealed in the Master Emerald or something like that. I don't, I don't really know the story. Look at that, there's Mecha Sonic. There's Metal Sonic. But now we're in the final stretch. And now I have to solve the puzzle. Oh boy, this could take a moment. There we go. But now we go on to the final level of Sonic. Final egg. The good shit's happening here. This is so much different compared to the uh, DX version where the lighting is... The lighting makes the biggest difference here. Because normally it's completely full bright and it looks like shit. And you can't, and the lasers are colored differently. And the grabby claws aren't as active. At least that's all I can notice from right now. Oh, God. Please. Then we go in the tumble dryer. Yeah, and the cameras actually follow you now. Eggman's constantly watching you, and he's waiting for you at the very end. It's ominous. It's creepy, but, but it shows that you're both determined to do what you're set out to do. Oh, God. Gotta get stuck on fucking everything. Every little thing I get stuck on. And I can't help it either. Some of the shit's like, what? what's happening? Those areas behind the glass are actually... have this really cool texture on them. Oh, here's a cool one. Uh, in this building, uh, you can see, like, you know, below us, the ground is, like, really dark. Of course, in the DX version, the lighting gets... This, uh, another case where the lighting got messed up. So you can see all the way to the bottom. 
So if you fall off and die, you'll just notice that Sonic, uh, like this. Like right there. Like, as you can see, like right there above, you can see for about a quarter of a second there, you could see that bottom area where it opens, where it's supposed to open up. Let's see. When it opens up. And then, um, if you fall down there at this point, you'll hit the kill plane and you'll just, like, you know, straight down and die. But you, you'll notice that Sonic doesn't actually, like, fall to, down to the pits. He lands on that surface below him. And he's totally fine. He, you're actually... Okay, that's, that's wonderful. That's actually really fucking stupid. I can land... I can't land on that, actually. That's... That's really annoying. I have enough lives so I'm prepared for many, many times like this. I know this sort of shit is going to come with a Sonic game. Like... Are you fucking serious? Why can't I land on that on that part of the of the ledge? It's a great. I could probably stand on it. I guess you just gotta keep holding forward down, no matter what. That's what they expect you to do, that's fantastic. I got it the first time, but I messed up the jump here. That is... That's so weird. They really do expect you to hold forward the entire time. And there we go down the elevator. Wow, everything's so blue. I think this was all a different color in the DX version. It's all green and stuff. I can't see, thank you. And of course the infamous elevator, but this time, it works. I can walk right across it instead of getting, you know, fall straight down through that crack. Which is 100% dumb. That's, the biggest, that's one of the biggest faults of the DX port. You, that happens there too. On the top and the bottom of the elevator. Boy, they give you a lot of rings here. Get up there. Come on! Oh, please. Oh, please. Oh, please. Let me do it. Please let me do it. Yeah! Yeah! Oh yeah, showing a protagonist moment right there. Sonic going all, going slay all. Oh, beautiful. 
I love it. I love it dearly. My special little man going to work. Thank you, Sonic. Thank you for fucking that up. What the hell is that? Oh. Power! That's a Virgil moment if I ever saw it. Oh my god. I jumped and I got scared. Ah, the walls twist and contort. That's really cool. Sonic, get me out of here! Not for the faint of heart, indeed. Gee, Sonic, let's get out of here. These guys are lame. There's something in this room, I forget. Is it? Yeah, it's a Tails doll one. Oh, fuck! Oh, oh my lord. Oh my god, it's the Legend of the Tails doll. He's back! Is there a spring anywhere? Why would they put a platform in here like that? And that's it. Yes. In a very, very, <laughs> a very quick 750. Couldn't, couldn't ask for more. Yeah, not bad. Good job, Sonic. Oh my god, Eggman, what have you done? What have you done to yourself? Well, if it isn't my pal, Sonic, I'm surprised you made it this far. Hold it right there, Eggman. Right there? Right where? Sonic, you'll have to elaborate! Get a load of this! Get a God. load of this! Even the sound effects are different. See if you can get here, Sonic. Get a load of this. 
load of this. Get a load of this. I gotta concentrate a little bit. See if you can make it through here, Because I don't want to mess up this fight. Because as you can see from this, it's a lot of waiting. It's very slow. I can't believe this. All systems, food power. It's no use. Give up. He's not gonna get away with this! It's no use! Give up! No way! I can't believe this! Watch out! He's up to something! Oh. Oh, thank the Lord. And that's it. That's it, baby. Sonic story complete. In a rather eventful set of circumstances. But I'll say this much. It was fun. Thank you, Sonic. Thank you, Sega, for making this sort of thing fun. But now let's enjoy the ending. And the sweet taste of victory as Sonic crushes Eggman's skull beneath his soap shoes. And his dirty, dirty feet.
Ah, wasn't that something special? And with that, I'll see you guys on the Tales missions. See you next time. <laughs>